I got to say, who's not in on it? It's handmade German. How about this? Blaze red. Now, uh, after the other night, we aired three different camo frames. Honestly, to me, these were they're orange here in the studio. They're, they're more orange than they are red. But the other night, we did have one that was more blaze orange than these. So I guess the blaze red would fit the description, but they're a orange red, I will say. Do they not look more orange in person than, than this monitor showing? I mean, these are, and they're incredible knives. Snapshot ready, 33 bucks. Snapshot, you're looking at a $96 retail. We're at 33. Next up is. Alrighty then. We'll be back here in just a few moments for our Ion viewers. Everybody else, you just stay tuned. All right. This is our ninja umbrella. So we kind of gave it away there with the title. Uh, yeah. yeah. But it's neat. It has a carrying case with strap, so you can carry it in a closed position, so you're not uh, burdened with only the handle itself to carry it by. It appears to be a katana. It has the handle of a katana. But not so much It's a really a nice katana. umbrella and pretty large. Yeah, I mean, we can both fit under there. No doubt. Yeah, we'll go walking in the rain. I like that. Could we actually mount that on the table to knock the lighting down? <laughs> then that would kind of defeat the purpose of the lighting. Hmm. Yeah. I thought of it that way. You may be right. 18 bucks. See, I told you she was the thinker. <laughs> 18 bucks for a good umbrella. You'd have to pay that anywhere. But this one, I guarantee you, nobody has one no. that looks like a ninja I mean, exactly. sword. Exactly. Exactly. Well... Let's go ahead and put it back in this and show everybody oh, wait, how it can me, be. I like to push it back. Let me do it one more time. All right. Woo! Ta -da! Ta -da! It even blew the stand <laughs> off. It's, it's got like... It's power. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. My mom always told me that. Don't open the umbrella in the house. Well, you're not in the house. You're in the studio. That's a difference. <laughs> My kids, for some reason, want to open them in the car. It's, you know, I'm <laughs> driving down the road. So. I mean, but look at this handle. You just simply... Yeah. Whoa, we just like went to a whole nother place. Uh, I've done that before. <laughs> We're in the twilight zone. Yeah. We will be announcing another winner coming up real shortly, but get your ninja umbrella for just 18 bucks. All right. All righty then. Mm -hmm. We have another one of these coming up too, by the way. So if this one sells out, we have another one. Welcome back, hey, everyone. We're having a five-blade frenzy. We are. You don't want to miss it. For those of you who uh, are just now tuning in, we are Cutlery Corner Network. We've uh, been doing this for a number of years, bringing people bottom dollar pricing on their favorite frames. Did you notice how um, Terry got up and like left when he saw this? I, I don't, these are $15 a piece. These, in my opinion, should be like $25 a piece. That well, means you would in get, my like, opinion, three. these should be 50 bucks each minimum. These are five-bladed. That's extreme rarity in itself. And in this selection, Sheila, you Look simply cannot go wrong. That's Oxhorn. Look at how thick those are. So well made, the Ocoee River line. And then they have the drive flies lasered on the bolsters. I came in here tonight looking for this set. I well, saw I mean, it the other night. I was just stumped that they were $15 at a 10 piece. bucks a blade, and that's the way I look at it. 10 bucks a blade, and they're well worth that. 50 bucks. You know, you're looking at $50 a knife easily 
But what really gets me okay. is when Jim it. introduced this set, this set is at $75. So say Jim knows about this? <laughs> Jim introduced these frames, and I, I was floored when he originally priced it. These were 20 bucks a piece. Yes. Each frame, 20 bucks, which floored me. Like I said, I was expecting these to be around $49, and they're well worth every penny of that. R E Long. Out in Arizona. Look at what we're going to ship to Mr. Long. This is our Steel Warrior. It's the largest stacked leather buoy that Steel Warrior makes. It is Rockwell tested 5650. It has a $50 value. You know what? I'm amazed. We're giving that away every 10 minutes. You know what truly amazes me? What is that? Is, uh, first of all, so many people are getting the win on the show and that's, secondly that's that they let Jody back in the studio booth after umpteen days off I mean who gets like a six-month vacation around here Jody yeah what's up with that what well, I just gotta know what you got to do to get a six-month vacation Big <laughs> Check this next deal out at 54 bucks. Field tested. These are favorites. There is no doubt. You're getting Quicksilver in the mix. You're getting a Maker. Mm -hmm. Plus, you're getting our Dark Defender. You're getting our military grade fighter. And you're getting a Santa Fe. Good I got job. a every one you this You did. Night. I was so impressed. I gotta say, and those each are will go out with $10 you. a piece, Tom. They're this all mega is size. Hands down, the most incredible big knife sale is. we've had in a long it time. Is. We're talking, as you just mentioned, 1080 a knife. That's unheard of. 1080 awesome. a knife. Well, especially when they start out, I believe our Dark Defender being the smallest of all, and it's like 13 plus inches. I believe the uh, next one up would be our uh, Santa Fe. And, I'm sorry, you're right. The combat would be 12. Uh, this one would be around 13. I believe Santa Fe bumps up above 13. Then mm -hmm. you get into the Haymaker, which is like 14, as well as the Quicksilver. Those are knives that, first and foremost, you're getting a quality product. They're razor sharp right off the bat. And to even dream it possible that these knives come to you shaven sharp. Grab old haymaker there. Field tested. I mean, when you take a knife this size with that amount of steel and you put it to the test, and I know paper, you think, well, I can promise you this, not many frames. There, there are a lot a lot fewer people out there producing cutlery that has that kind of edge right from the factory. I mean, it, it just doesn't happen normally. But these do have that edge. They have the metal to back it up with, which means when you go to sharpen the frame, you know, six, seven weeks down the road or however, you know, depending on use, when you go to sharpen that frame, you've got the metal to retain that edge when you need it. Speaking of, take a look at it. Koi Rivers, five inches of glory. Five inch favorites. They are. And these are out by Koei River. They're great. They're large folding hunters, and they all have those Corlon handles. Well, some of them, though, have the bone. Let's go through it. We have Appaloosa Molassa, the cracked ice. This one is in um, black forest wood. That's nice. White smooth bone. This is the red zigzag jig, the red Indian stitch. That's a bone handle. And then we're back around to the Corlon. And I want to say uh, hello to Mr. and Mrs. Hunt, who uh, made a visit up the other day and I believe may be back home now in Indiana. I want to thank you guys. You're very, very nice people. Big, Got the opportunity to meet them the other Tom day. Big Tom O'Dell fans. And, now, well, they were, they hey. were just as much your fan as mine <laughs> and Todd's as well. But, I mean, they just love yeah, the show and to... we appreciate great viewers like that. This set will come with this 
traveling case. Six piece knife roll. Well, that in itself, Sheila, I got a, what, 1995? What could you price a pink dragon for? Priceless. I've been to every car dealer around. I couldn't find a pink dragon. Priceless. Can't put a price on a pink dragon. Tom. It is hard. I mean, there are just not that many out there to compare it to. And this one actually glitters. It's also packing. Oh, that's true. You know, yeah, blades open plenty. As a letter opener there. It's sort of roosted up on that peak there, looking down upon all the people. I don't know how they have that in there, but there, I guess that's pretty close. It works. It's in there. The dragon, he can handle it. Yeah. You know. I wish we had more of these, but we. He's had to face life being pink. This will probably so be tough, um, right? this show, and then it'll sell out. See, he's really cute. Okay, I want one of those. It is a pretty neat dragon, I have to say. My kids would have many sword fights. I don't recommend that. Right. I probably don't need to have that at home. You probably don't. Yes. Unless you display it, well, out of reach. Yeah. And out of climbing range. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so just... Yeah, yeah, might want to wait a couple more years. Let's anyway. just wait on that. Yeah. Take a look at this one. Billy the Kid. You know, Billy the Kid died at 21. And uh, right now, we have a little commend for Billy the Kid. You know, for a short period of time, I think he actually uh, may have... Uh, he was actually supposed to be a deputy at one time uh, before the Lincoln County War broke out. So, needless to say, I'm thinking that being as he was on the side that lost, mm -hmm. that they... That's why his murder was called murders, because his side lost. If they had won, the other guys would have been called for murder. Needless to say. Oh, gotcha. But, so and they think a couple of his, you know, was in that. Uh, so he sort of got a little bit of a bad rap, I think, in the end. And even uh, the governor in New Mexico actually done something just a couple of years ago trying to... Uh, pardon Billy the Kid, okay. but there really wasn't enough evidence to sustain it one way or the other, so they had to leave it ruling as it stood. Yeah, and you have all that information plus little variations here in your Billy the Kid, and that is a folding knife. It's, it is a folder. Really you do get the badge, and you get a sheath for the little pistol to go in once the blade's closed on it. You know, that's just something you don't hear often. Close the blade on your pistol. I'm going to whoop your butt, Tom Adair. You don't close the blade on that pistol right now. <laughs> Sound like something Mom would say. How about this? American Patriot. We're going to give you our Master Barlow featuring the colors of the flag. Red, white, and blue. We got our stars. We got our stripes. And we've got our red, white, and blue. No, no doubt, ten bucks, two six three one seven. Pretty hard deal to pass up, and that's a big Barlow. Closed, it's about five inches. I remember back in the day, where a Barlow was almost uh, one of the most popular frames in existence, and uh, at least it was up where I live. I can help you with that if you need some help. It's uh, definitely one I think would be in the collector oh, arena, oh, absolutely. Yeah, no doubt. I don't even know what we got here. <laughs> it's the dealer relief, Tom. And what we're going to do, is that correct, $138? $139.99. Knives for $138. So you're Will saying 99 cents a knife. Yeah. So with the possibility of even winning another knife for making your order. Yeah, would that work for you? Uh, well, I, I'm not going to change it now, obviously. Uh, this one, price to move. 99 pennies a blade. 
Now, this is counted as one, correct? Yes. Withstand? Because it's a sword set. So you get all three swords and the stand for 99 cents. Now, we're there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's, a, there's the uh, three-piece sword set and stand. We also, as they were just illustrating, had a card of 18 laminated series. Those are neat and nice. At five bucks a knife, you're looking at a $90 return. Then we got the uh, Millennium Frame, yes. Bowie. You know, that one, pretty sweet. I, I believe you're correct in the spotted elk designation is what it was renamed. But that Millennium Frame has... Stan Pat being uh, one unique mm -hmm. in Frostwood. Not in Frostwood. Yeah, That's look at 99 that. Ninety-nine cents, Tom. Ninety-nine cents. Uh, this is to me is we have uh, That's sharp. at least a thousand dollars in retail value on the table, going out the door for a hundred and thirty-eight bucks. Now, you know, I'm, I'm glad we pointed it out that night because. Right now, let me show you the, our original paperwork. Yeah, at one point, this and there's was... there's a reason for this. Yeah, not in the set. Notice the write-in at the bottom. In the big square box, changing a little bit of uh, piece count by adding that bonus knife in, and this is that knife right there. So... You With know, all that being said. Monday, Jim is going to be doing handwriting samples to figure out who added that big buoy to this box. Uh, you're probably correct about that. But that whoever buoy, did. The buoy is valued at half of your flex. I mean, your flex, one of your flex pay payments. Right. Is the value of that buoy. That's Well, awesome. I like the way the set is rounded out. And on the individual basis, it's got a little dealer relief. Now, you do not, I repeat, you do not have to be a dealer to make a purchase like this. There's a dozen of them. All you have to be is someone concerned about saving money, period. We have the best pricing due to our factory direct designation. Walk through that door, you're in a, you're in a warehouse where everything's stored. So it's not a long trip. We don't have to fuel the knives from one location to another. Right. We simply just roll them back, roll them in, put them on TV. Well, all that being said, that's why you can purchase exactly what you see for the mere sum of 99 cents a knife. This is not an offer that Jim Frost is feasibly making money on. This is an offer that you are reaping the benefits, $999 of actual retail value, which in turn means you are saving 860 bucks, 62 bucks. Now, like this that. is also an offer that I do not believe will make it through the weekend. Uh, May well, not with... make it through the this show. Well, you're probably Unless closer on the ladder than Terry the Terry Duncan over here works some magic. He needs to pull a few out of his, well, let's say Magician out of the universe pack. somewhere and come up with about uh, 300 more. As At should least. do us. If yeah. we had 300 more, I believe we could make it through the weekend, maybe. Now let's see. Looking at those dealer dozens. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. So That's I counted a lot. nine total dealer dozens. And the majority of them are going to be four and a half inches. We, the Swamp Lizard is a five inch tactical. We have some pocket size at the Millennium, and I know the Vulture is down there too. It's a three inch tack. Great pocket knife. Bad little boys. That's the Zeppelin. Zeppelin has a Kraton insert, adjustable compression setting, flip of the wrist. You got a knife open and ready for action just like that. It's simple, it's easy, and it's made affordable. Tom, we're down to the final few seconds. I know we haven't said much about the Snook, but it's there too at the very bottom. The yeah, right there. Is that what snook. you're talking about? That's a yes. good looking knife. So you have two Frostwood fixed plates. I like these little white tails. You know, I stopped by, the, I won't mention their name, but I stopped by the phone store. 
got my cell phone updated, obviously. It was oh, okay. on its last legs. The phone's uh, Yeah. The guy had, you know what, what he was using to open up the packaging with? This exact knife. <laughs> you know, I got to say, these are everywhere now. We've sold thousands and thousands. But the neat thing about They're it, so at the price handy. we can sell them and you can buy them and resell them, they sell like hotcakes. Yeah, they're very handy, those the little size. Michael Pittman up in Virginia. Brother, you are next lucky winner. You just won a, a big one. All right, Michael, check this out. This is what we're going to be sending out, Michael. From Steel Warrior, approximate size, about 13 inches. A $49 retail value, and it will go out the sheath, Michael. I want to say thank you so much, sir, for watching the show. Thanks for tuning in, and thanks for making your purchase. And if you would like to be like Mike, all you got to do is place an order with us on the show. And we will put your name into the drawing, just like Mike's was. I'm call I hope you don't mind, Michael. Uh, I, I got to say, if you get your name in the drawing, obviously Michael couldn't have won had he not placed an order. But now then, not only did he get a frame that he was wanting really bad, he got another frame he wasn't expecting. But I think he'll find it to be one great frame. Let us know, Michael what you think about that steel warrior. Uh, I also like this set. This is done by Whitetail. The Kentucky Whitetail. Now, if you will take one brief moment to look at the shield, it's a Kentucky long rifle. You've got it in a trapper, stockman, a saddle horn, a muskrat, you even got it in a warrior locked back and a copperhead. I'm sorry. I said saddle horn a while ago. It was a copperhead. Now, at 44 bucks, we're talking $6 in change. Hands down, boys, these are really good looking knives for a really affordable price tag. Now this is a nice little sportsman setup. It's called our Sportsman's Skinners. Well, I can see right now they have set this one up to put the mix in there of whether you like a small, medium, or large. You're covered. In the small range, we've got our schnook and our wire cut buck along with our sapphire blue. Then we have next up, which would uh, fit in what I would call probably the medium skinning range, which consisting of the uh, rutten buck down at the bottom in green. The haymaker is would be considered large and uh, the Iron Horse, medium. The big jungle buoy, that one, that's large. So I think I covered them all. You got small, medium, large. Uh, so this should cover the gamut. Doesn't matter where it's big, medium, or small. We got a knife for them all. $65.80. <coughs> I want to apologize about any weight you could be experiencing. I also want to remind you, coming up in just a week or so, we're making a channel change to channel 262, channel 266 for Dish Network viewers only. You'll need to adjust your channel setting to continue viewing Cutlery Corner. Now, to my knowledge, there is no uh, upper tier packaging you have to take in with your dish programming to receive those channels. They st still are offered, I believe, in no, the I think if minute you can, packages. If you can see us now, you'll be able to see us then. Right. It's a different channel, 266 and 262, so catch us there. 
We're having a move-in sale. We are? We've actually put this whole, whole darn thing, this whole darn warehouse on wheels, and we're rolling it out the door. Yeah. Next One way up. or another. This is our case camo caliber Trevor. How about all that? $38. 21877. The Tennessee Hill.